Thank you, guys. Some people would debate my food not as cheesesteak, so that's part of what we can talk about. <laughs> I am sorry. <laughs> Correct. I don't make money. <laughs> um, I, I, honestly, my story is kind of crazy. 17 years ago, I actually got fired from a job. And I gave them seven days a week, killing myself for nothing is how I looked at it. And when I went into business for myself, originally as a franchise, I wanted to obviously still kill myself working seven days a week. But I also wanted to use my business to better my community so one day I could eventually, unfortunately, I hate to say this word, run for office and say, look, I care about my community. This is what I've done with my business. I don't want campaign money. Support your local food banks. Blah, 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 blah. I don't want to really go into the details of that because that's actually something I might announce in a couple of weeks. But um, long story short, when I was a franchise, I gave them eight and a half percent of my sales and it made me struggle. And when I got out of my franchise, I told myself, look, in a year from now, if you're still in business, you're going to start doing something good with this money. And fast forward a year later, I was still going. 2013, we started our monthly, I'm sorry, 2014, we started our monthly food bank donations and we've done over 80,000 pounds of fresh fruits, vegetables, and meats since. And anytime I can give or use my business to help, it works out. And I just, as long as I can pay my bills, I'm good. That's how I look at it, I guess. <laughs> Stupid as some others would say, including my father. <laughs> Well, we do actually serve a traditional cheesesteak, but that's not really what makes us special. Uh, our traditional cheesesteak is the same, almost exact cheesesteak as you could find at Steak and Hoagie Factory, which is where I started off as a franchise. Um, I just learned how to manipulate their roll and make it extra special. I'm sorry, I'm watching her eat it right now. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, and what makes it extra special is... Uh, with the help of uh, the pretzel factory guys in Langhorn, um, they showed me how to manipulate the roll and make it a pretzel itself. And so basically we serve a baguette style soft pretzel roll cheesesteak. And uh, what I brought in today for you guys, obviously you're not here and unfortunately in the studio with us, you're missing out, 
is the beer dip version, which you've sampled previously. I'm, I know that, which is what to me is our best sandwich on the menu and the special that I'm running all month long. <laughs> so it is a uh, stout beer mixed with cream cheese spread on the inside of the pretzel roll with chopped ribeye I should say, I shouldn't say that anymore because I don't know if it's definitely going to still be ribeye. I'm kind of trying to keep cost in today's inflation craziness. So I might switch back to a lesser quality meat because the meat, unfortunately, in our sandwich, unlike my good friend Curly, uh, isn't the key factor in our sandwich tasting good. Um, it's the combination of all the flavors together. So, which what I should get back to is it's chopped ribeye with then deep fried onions on top. And uh, all put together for a delicious, tasty sandwich. And that's where I always lose. Honestly, I think this is the most Philadelphia cheesesteak there is in the world. Yes. Uh, you know, I don't think... I, yeah. I mean, if I still use Philadelphia cream cheese, it, it would really, truly be an all-time, you know... Philly fan favorite. Philly fan favorite sandwich. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, really? Uh, we're do we're we're looking for people actually to let us uh, pop up and do lunch uh do lunches there. Um, I, this year my wife left her job, uh, like many others, overworked and underpaid, and uh, we took the leap. So me and her, the food truck team, and I have a a great leader and gang at the store, where I've been able to step away from the store's day to days for about two years now, and uh, so I'm all in on the truck. And uh, so, we're, yeah, we're, look, we're get, looking to do pop-up lunches all around the area. And uh, we're looking for breweries now to step outside of our local Bucks norm and head into Montgomery and Chester County and introduce people to our food that hopefully bring them back to the joint over in Parkland. <laughs> Honestly, sorry. No, gluten free has been a huge part of my business over the years. It's definitely grown. I always kid now that we need a second main line just as big as for the gluten-free because that's how big gluten-free has gotten over the years. Um, the gluten-free customer base has been my best form of advertising, I think, in the world. And uh, they 
it, yeah, our gluten-free regular roll, I actually drive to Vermont uh, about once a quarter to uh, pick up the rolls. Um, based off of supply chain costs and everything, I factor it's worth it for me to take the 14-hour round-trip day just to stick a bunch of rolls in the freezer and uh, make it happen. But uh, the, the actually what you're talking about with the running in New York for the rolls, uh, the gluten-free pretzel roll that we offer, um, the product that I use to make that, I've been having mold issues for the last 18 months. And actually tomorrow I'm going to be introducing a new version of that sandwich with a different product that's a little different, but it'll, it, it honestly, the taste is still there. And that's what matters to me is that the taste is still there. And the, and the whole sandwich itself holds up in the heat lamp and all that stuff. The onions. Yes. Honestly. Like my favorite, my, yeah, yeah. I mean, my role, I mean, if you want me to be selfish, I'll tell you the role all day long. Cause I think that like the regular role that we serve, I have said for years, if you take a shit on this roll, people would still eat it. Oh, I'm sorry. Poop. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Keep going. Um, we'll bleep it out later. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I've always said that for years, and I think the pretzel roll just takes it to the next level. But honestly, um, my favorite sandwich shop, which I saw you posted something the other day about, don't clickbait on this, about the the name, and uh, that's closing their primary location. They that 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 place is my favorite cheesesteak shop in the city for one reason, one reason only, and it's the onions. I don't think their roll is the best roll. I don't think their steak's the best steak. I think their onions are what makes their sandwich. The combination of it all together and the onions on top, oh, with some ketchup, out of this world. You know. Oh, 100%. Well, he still has his other location, and hopefully that uh, thrives for him. Um, I, Jay's joint two one five dot com is our website. Honestly, anything and everything you need to know is on there, including my cell phone number. Um, I, 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 I uh, the, 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 I guess the last thing I just wanted to share is that beard that we were all talking about is actually on sale this whole entire month. And, uh, my wife wanted to wring my neck when I announced this, <laughs> uh, <laughs> And ever, my accountant actually is on hospice at the moment, or else he probably would have killed me too. <laughs> but uh, I, I'm selling the sandwich for six dollars this entire month. What? Which if you, yeah, it, it's not about making money, like I said wow. in the beginning of the segment. It's about getting people out to try it because I think once you try it, you're a customer for life. Absolutely. And uh, that's the whole. Model behind it, that. and I hope that you try other things while you're there too. But uh, especially the French onion egg rolls; those are my <laughs> other go-to. <laughs> and have it with a milkshake. Uh, yeah, why not?
I will say Mike loves the kitchen. I do not love the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> We're, he's one of my longest friends probably at this point in life. And uh, he, he, he has a true passion for the kitchen where I have a true passion of loving food because I'm a fat guy. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> you know, I always say, you know, hey, hey listen, you know, they're like, oh, you're a chef. No, I'm just a fat guy who loves food. Yeah. No, no, no professional training here. I just enjoy experimenting in the kitchen. And, uh, you know, that's awesome. <laughs> for, for... <laughs> so in our last minute, do you have any um, last minute questions, Jean? At Jay's Joint 215 uh, is our main page. At Jay's Food Truck 215 is our food truck. And uh, at Jay's Joint 215.com is our website. And uh, if you really need to get a hold of me, 215 514 3172, you can uh, text me or call me. I'm always available. Open Wednesday through Sunday from 11 to 8. We do not open Monday and Tuesday. 